place to be. So today is day seven of the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship by three times the amount. So um, today we're going to talk about linking up your schedules as a couple. I know that this can sound like, wow, I got to link up my schedules now in order to improve my relationship. But it really just depends on how important the relationship is for you, how important the relationship is for the both of you. So um, linking up your schedules is going to be a way for you guys to actually talk. For you guys to actually catch up with one another for you guys to just spend some quality time with one another um, this could be a way for you to schedule your dates hey Charmina how are you I see you girl <laughs> yeah so this could be a way for you guys to schedule your dates but linking up your schedule is going to make it easier um, in the long run so you do not have to worry about how you are going to see your spouse especially in this day and age where everybody is just so busy we are all so busy we all out here we all um you know working on things whether it's uh something that you're working on in your career something that you're working on at the home whatever it is that you're doing we are finding and we are um everything is flowing our way just to keep us busy so you want to make time for your relationship you want to make time to make sure that you guys link up and um, connect and keep the intimacy intimacy flowing within your relationship and a way to do that is to link up your schedules now one of the reasons why you want to link up your schedules is because it actually shows that you too are both being intentional in your relationship because you want your relationship to work you don't want it to fall by the wayside so um, this is the way to show that you are being intentional actually that both of you guys are being intentional it really does not matter who starts this or who you know says that I sent you the link make sure that you um, click on it so we can link up our schedule it really doesn't matter who does that what matters is that one of you guys started <laughs> and the other person accepts it and put in there the date and time so you guys can actually link up catch up see each other uninterrupted time together all right another thing that this does when you guys are linking up your schedule is that it makes sure that your partner knows and your partner also knows that you guys are making each other a priority you're also making the relationship a priority so that's another reason why linking up your schedules is going to be good for the two of you another thing I actually already said hey Taylor I see you um, another thing that I already said is um, that it gives you time to catch up with your spouse hey Leslie hey oh um, Omar I see y'all thank y'all for watching thank y'all for coming on in here to improve your relationship by 3x the amount by the end of these 30 days so if you guys have not watched my previous six videos they're definitely on my home page on Facebook so go ahead and catch up with those but getting back to this the third thing is that is going to help you guys catch up with one another where you guys are able to speak to each other un uh, uh, again uninterrupted time together where you guys are able to become intimate if if that's what you need to do like this is gonna be a way like you know what we haven't actually got it on in a while uh, for some of you slow people I'm talking about sex so if y'all have not been able to have sex if you guys have small children like I do um, sometimes sex is few far and in between and I'm yeah I'm putting my business out there but <laughs> if you need to schedule to make sure that the intimacy is there to make sure that the connection is there this is another way so the scheduling could be for a date the scheduling could be for sex the scheduling could be let's go watch a movie movie the scheduling could be let's hibernate together you know what today we not turning on our phones today we not looking at our phones today what we gonna do is just have a great time together yes I know you probably laughing about the sex but honey sometimes it be like that <laughs> Um, another thing that it does is that it keeps the excitement in the relationship because because our lives are so busy and we're out here we're doing ev any and everything the main thing that we can do is look is look forward to and become excited about spending that one-on-one -on -one time with our spouses with your partners I mean I literally get geeked up when we have one-on-one -on -one time because it is few far and in between and the, the, the 
I live in California, and so um, out here it's just me and my husband, meaning that we don't have the village around us. So when we get a moment to um, connect and hang out with one another, we are doing just that. <laughs> and um, yeah, but it gives you something to look forward to. It, it keeps the excitement up. It keeps the connection going. You know what you've been wanting to tell them this. You have time to write down a few things that you want to go over, to share, to um, bring them into your world. So link up your schedules as much as possible um i like to tell people to try to do this at least weekly i like to tell my clients and stuff to do this weekly if you're as busy as most of us are then at the very least do the bi-weekly where you guys are spending um hours together hours together um otherwise throughout the week you're you're catching up five ten minutes twenty minutes something like that so you guys are still catching up during the day each day if possible because I understand some people travel and so you're not able to really catch up with each other like that but as much as possible catch up link up be excited about make your relationship um, a priority become intentional about doing this uh, I ha actually have two things here I want to read these are two ways in order to link up your schedules as couples so they actually have couples at apps which I, which I have not used, so I don't know about this one in particular. But then also you can share your calendar with your spouse as well. So you can either share your calendar or what you have to do, and then you guys can link up that way, or there are couples apps that there are out there, so you guys can link up your schedules that way as well. So how are you going to be intentional is what I want to know. Being intentional about spending time together is critical to maintaining a healthy relationship. Yes, it is, Leslie. Oh, my God. It's being intentional is everything literally this is a shameless plug i talk about being intentional in my book 20 ways to create an awesome love story it literally just dropped it's on amazon and uh, as a brag fest right here is actually uh 4.6 out of 5 stars so just letting you know <laughs> yes but being intentional spending time together all of this is critical to maintaining your connection It's critical to maintaining the love It's absolutely critical to decreasing the chances that somebody else could creep in on your relationship yes decreases the chances that somebody can creep in on your relationship because you guys are making sure y'all together doing things together enjoying one another keeping all those extra folks out of your business including i love y'all and some of my family watching but sometimes even including your family need to be out of your business because the relationship is your and your partners or your and your spouses it's not your families it is not it is not um your parents it's not his parents it's not my parents it's y'all relationship so connect link up your schedules and I want to know what you are going to do about being intentional and linking up your schedules with your spouse. Y'all know, I'm going to read your comments. I'm going to um, message you back. So let's continue the conversation. All right. I will see you guys here tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Later. <laughs>